My name is David Lesser, and I'm the band director at Clovis North Educational Center in Fresno, California. And we are here performing as a featured ensemble, and our percussion ensemble performed as well. Our experience so far at the Music for All National Festival has been a great one. It's been really uh, interesting and rewarding to get to hear other ensembles perform that uh, just sound amazing. The students all work really hard and uh, it was great to have our kids up on the stage and get to see all the work that they've put in since the beginning of the school year, you know, really pay off. Leading up to a performance is a little stressful because of all the practicing and you know, it's a big, huge festival, we're kind of scared, but when we got there, it was we were excited to finally show what we could do and how, how long we've been preparing for it. It was kind of satisfying. And we had a great run of all of our pieces, so it was the perfect ending to the months building up to it. I'm blown away with the amount of talent and the amount of uh, people here, and I'm just, I'm really happy to be surrounded by such great musicians. I think that Music for All offers such a unique experience for kids at this age to come someplace like this and see other musicians that are at the same caliber as them. We don't have a lot of that where we're from, and so for the students to see other students that have worked this hard and put this much in to come to something like this, I think the kids will have a lot to take home with them. Watching these children's reactions as they go into each and every daily event, it's, it's just very inspiring for me. I want you to think about where are we going to go from here? That's what we have to talk about now, okay? So the first place we can go is we can still be more responsible as individuals, right? Okay, because still think about it. That was a pretty good performance. So what we're going to do today instead is we're going to talk about what's next. Just getting to see the panel of adjudicators from the top universities, you have the best professional musicians composers here. Um, it's, it's outstanding. One of the reasons for sure we wanted to be a part of this experience. Throughout, you need to pay attention to that last note. You paid attention to the first one. You loved the second one. The last one, didn't care a bit about. Do it again. And... Last time, woodwinds now play louder. Shorter and louder. Uh, two, uh, ah. No idea you guys even had instruments put together, and Chalmers, I didn't know you were in the room. <laughs> My opinion was the levels of the cake. Now, he's going to say, I totally disagree. The bottom layer is the one I love, I want to hear more of. I don't like this layer, or whatever it is. That's the cool part about this recipe of making music. Follow me? So I'm not saying I'm right. I just want you to be aware of, I may be more important, I may be less important, and then come and go. Yes? It was very helpful because getting a second opinion on all the pieces that we've been working on and it's good to get some feedback and there's plenty of good things and plenty of bad things and some of the pieces we were going to take to different competitions so it was good to have you know more refining of it, practice it some more and make more improvements on it. You have, without question, a master teacher. And I use those words and I hope he knows I mean it very guardedly. I learned um, last night um, to appreciate my band director for all his work he's done and to appreciate everyone around me because they're such great musicians and to really cherish the moment as it happens. I think for them sometimes it's a little overwhelming uh, but it's been really exciting and I keep telling them how lucky they are to be here and they keep saying, yeah, I know. So I think they really realize how lucky they are. I think a trip like this sometimes doesn't truly soak in until they get home and they start to kind of retell their story to their friends and family of their experience and what they've learned. And I think when you're that age and you're in it, it's so exciting and, and you're just kind of living the moment. But I, I think it's gonna be something that they'll remember forever. For our students to travel anywhere, and especially for some of them the first time to be on an airplane, travel away from home, uh, just learning a little more self-reliance also, um, and coming someplace and having those high expectations of this is how I, this is how I perform, this is how I act, um, it just gives them some life skills that you can't find anywhere else. 
Well, Music for All, it's, it's been wonderful. They're first class in everything that they do. They, they're taking care of our children. They take care of us. They give us great direction. Um, we're always informed of what we're going to be doing next. Um, music for All is just a first class um, organization. I've learned that music is awesome, <laughs> and I've learned that music should always be a celebration and not a competition. Uh, I, I think there's nothing wrong with competition. I think competition's good, but what I really love about this experience is that it really is a celebration of music, and it really is incredible to see the things that students can do, and you know, if you lead them down the right path, they'll achieve just about whatever you ask them to do. Thank you.